Ayon. I'm Irish Alagan. I'm one of the first violinists of the Manila Symphony Junior Orchestra and I am 19 years old. Johann Sebastian Bach's Largo from Sonata No. 3. I really, really love this piece and I personally chose it because it is heartfelt and it is somehow calming in a sense, which is what we need especially in these trying times due to the COVID-19 situation and other issues that we are facing today, especially our country. I feel that this kind of music is what we need to soothe our soul, ease our mind from the distractions and problems that we encounter from day to day. quarantine season or period, I've been actually very productive and quite proud of that. I've been cooking, cooking for my family, I've been trying different dishes, um, experimenting on different ingredients. I've also been giving time to practice because I also have individual lessons online, orchestra rehearsals online as well, and also different types of recordings such as this. I also somehow study because I am an incoming second year occupational therapy student at the University of the Philippines, Manila, and I really want to be prepared for the coming academic year. And I've also been juggling artwork at the same time. It's also based in UP Manila. It's like a, a music group or ensemble also. And lastly, I've been giving time and cherishing my bonding time with family. Because this is something that I really wasn't able to do due to our tight schedule, um, due to the different things we've been doing. Like, we don't really have time for each other that much. our Europe tour in five key things that I learned after the two tours that we had. So first, I learned that music is really a universal language. So going to Vienna or go, going to Europe, we met different people of different nationalities, of different age groups, different genders. And we didn't know each other, we were strangers to each other, but our love for music, our common understanding, our common passion for music, I think really connected us all. We had friends, we had bonding time with different nationalities, and it was really a beautiful moment. I guess what I would never forget is the finale party or the gala party, wherein all of the participants would gather in this place with so much food, um, so much lively and fun music, wherein we all dance to, we sing, we sing, we watch each other perform, we talk, we laugh. It's just one of the most beautiful nights getting to mingle with people who have the same love for music and who make the same craft as you do. And yeah, I, I also remember like this one group, I think it, it's from Brockton School and like the World Music Program and they play the marimba and 
it's just beautiful. Like they, they play different pop songs. <laughs> from the tour is that classical music can definitely thrive in our country but you know it will take time just like any other craft or any other thing it is true that not much people appreciate classical music especially here in the Philippines but after going to Vienna the center of classical music and playing in such be beautiful halls I really do have high hopes high dreams for the musicians here in the Philippines to be able to express their music with full appreciation. The third thing I learned after the tours is that discipline and sensitivity are two of the things that are important in the community. During practice, hindi lang naman ikaw yung napapagod, hindi lang naman ikaw yung nag-exert ng effort. The other members you are with, the parents, the teachers, the staff, the librarians, they also give time, they also exert effort just to help you create this craft. So, una una, dapat marunong kang mahisama sa ibang tao. And two, let them know that you appreciate the, the effort that they are also giving. Next, discipline is also important para walang delay sa trabaho, wala ding naapekto na iba kasi Pag mas nagkahamali or kapag hindi ka discipline, mas na mas napapatagal, mas naapektuhan, mas napapagod yung mga kasama mo. And also, having good character and having a good heart is important not only pagpunta na ibang bansa, most especially yun pag andito ka sa sarili mong bansa para pag nakita ka ng mga tao, hindi lang nila sasabihin na ah, magaling yung tumugtog, sasabihin din nila ay yung group na yan, bababait na bata, mga ganun. First thing I learned is that no matter how far you've come, no matter how much you've accomplished, you should always know how to humble yourself. Our group, before going to Europe, we had tons of people donate. Groups, companies support us. Parents who also donated just for us to be able to perform there, to be able to compete there. So it is just right to Give them thanks after everything and to, uh, to, sh to show them that you appreciate all their help. And also, it's also nice to go back to your own roots and perform for your, the people of the Philippines as well. Lastly, and the most important thing I really, really learned after the tours is actually a saying from Shinichi Suzuki. He said that, when love is deep, much can be accomplished. I realized that this is indeed true after um, this experience, after winning also. Because I really felt the same immense love, the same type of dedication, the same type of commitment and effort that each member, the teachers, the staff, the parents exerted just to be able to create such a beautiful craft and such beautiful music. So, you know, deep love alongside with hard work and commitment will really help you go far and help you reach your dreams. So, those are a few of the things that I really, really learned from the experience. So, to wrap this all up, I would just like to wish everyone to stay safe, to always pray, because hindi natin alam talaga kung ano mangyayari sa mundo natin ngayon. Um, we just need to trust, to follow, to watch over each other. And also for everyone, we should know that during these times, we, we don't have to push ourselves. Walang masama sa pagpapahinga. Walang masama sa pag-aalaga sa sarili sa mga panahon na to. But you can always choose growth as well. Without pushing yourself or without try trying too hard. You can go at your own pace, but it's always important to choose growth. So yeah, stay safe always to everyone watching and to all your families. And God bless you all. Bye!